Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're checking out the brand new MLC Sub-Zero 100 Amp Simulator plugin by Bogren Digital. This officially licensed Amp Sim plugin aims to recreate the sound of the real MLC Mark L Custom Guitar Electronics Sub-Zero 100 in the digital world, but with a bunch of awesome features. This is a sponsored video, by the way, but as always, all thoughts and opinions are 100% my own. Let's check out a demo that I made with this plugin and my Ibanez M80M Meshuga 8 string guitar, just so we can see how this plugin sounds, okay? Check it out. So to me, that sounded pretty good, very amp-like and very analog-like. So that's quite an impressive tone there, especially the heavy part. That part had some really heavy and snarly mids going on. And there's just something about the overall mid-range that I really like. It just sounds very broad and fat, basically. Now, later in the video, I will walk you through the presets that I created for that demo. But first, let's take a look at the overall features that this plugin has to offer. So in terms of the user interface, the plugin looks really nice, I must say. It just looks really realistic, so it's basically eye candy, and I just really like it when amp sims have those nice and realistic graphics. And at the center or the core of the plugin, we have the MLC Sub-Zero 100 amplifier with three channels. So it's basically a clean channel, a crunch channel, and a high gain channel. And all the channels have various switching options and tonal shaping options as well. Each channel has a noise gate, which is always handy, of course. We've got presence controls, depth controls, and of course, a gain control, your standard three band EQ and a master control. And something else that's really nice is that you can choose between 6L6 and EL34 power tubes. Not a lot of plugins offer this feature, so it's something that I do appreciate. Now, when you change the power tube types in this plugin, the effect can be quite subtle but I also think that that is the case in real life. You know, with some amp sims, when you change the power tubes, the effect is quite drastic, and I don't think that that's very realistic. Now on channel one, two, and three, you have the feed control and the power amp. It's a bit subtle, but it changes the response of the power amp section, basically. And I think that it works together with the presence and depth controls. Channel one has a low voicing option for the bass control, so this changes the response and tone of the low frequencies on that channel. 
And all three channels also have the bright switch with three settings. So that's also great for shaping the tone a little bit further. And then channel two and three have the M45 switch. And this basically lowers the gain and makes the sound a bit more classic and vintage so that it replicates that classic British tone a bit more. So what I want to do now is loop some riffs that I recorded with my ESP LTD NW44 guitar with the bare knuckle aftermath pickup. And then on channel three, I'll tweak all the controls so you guys can hear how they react and how they affect the tone. And I'll also switch to channel two briefly so you can hear the difference in gain. Okay, let's check it out right now. So especially the three band EQ sounds really good here and also the master EQ, so the depth and presence controls. Everything just sounds very natural and musical, very nice indeed. So again, very realistic and amp-like, I love it. Now this plugin also has a stomp section with some stomp boxes that go in front of the amplifier and this section holds two overdrive pedals basically. The Vanilla Sky, which has a level, drive, white and blue control, White is basically your treble control and blue is basically your bass control. So you can really use this to fine tune the tone. For example, with an extended range guitar, what I like to do is boost the treble a bit and lower the bass a bit. So this pedal is perfect for that. The Fascination Street OVD1 is kind of like a Tube Screamer-ish pedal with the familiar controls, a level, a tone and a gain control. Now let's set the amplifier to a mid gain crunch tone and mess around with these pedals a little bit so you guys can hear how they react and how they affect the tone. Check it out. Now let's check out the speaker cabinet section of this plugin, which is really cool and it holds some unique features. Of course you can blend two mics and two cabinets and you've got a choice between two different cabinets. The modern cabinet and the vintage cabinet and both cabinets sound really good. For each side you can choose between five different mic types and of course you can change the position as well as the angle. Let's take a quick listen to some of the different mics and change the positions a little bit so you guys can hear how that affects the tone. Check it out.
Now the speaker section has a very exciting and new feature in it in the form of the IRDX technology. And this feature basically aims to emulate the non-linear characteristics of speakers, especially when they are being pushed. So it's basically a form of compression and saturation. And this feature brings the sound forward in an interesting way for sure. So let's play around with these controls for a little bit and also do some A-Bing with this feature on and this feature off so you guys can hear the difference. Check it out. So that's a pretty interesting feature, right? I thought that it brought the guitars forward in an interesting way. Pretty cool. Okay, and after the cap section, we've got the 10 band EQ, which is there for if you want to shape the tone even further. I don't use it much, but it's there if you need it. And in the post effects section, there is a delay and a reverb as well. And both sound very nice indeed. I also use those for the intro. Let's loop some of the clean eight string parts from the intro and mess with the controls a little bit so you guys can hear how they sound. Check it out. All right, so those are the main features of this plugin. Now, when you use the plugin in standalone mode, there is also a record function for recording your riffs, as well as a metronome with various settings, which can be very handy for practice. And of course, the top of the plugin also houses metering and in and output gains, and there is also a tuner. Now let's go over the presets that I created for the demo track real quick. For the clean tone, I'm using the clean channel, of course, with feed set to high, low EQ to low and bright set to the two setting for the brightest tone, basically. EL34 is in the power amp and in the cab section, the IRDX function is on. And I'm using the modern cab with a blend between a 57 and a 121 mic. In the EQ, I'm boosting the bass a touch and also adding a touch of top end. And in the post effects section, both the delay and the reverb are turned on and the delay is synced to the tempo of the song. Now for the heavy tones, I'm using the vanilla sky boost just to shape the tone and push the amp a little bit. This really helps for the clarity on those extended range notes, so those very low notes. It just makes them sound more clear and punchy, basically. I'm using channel three on the amp with the gate on, feed set to high, and the bright switch to two again. This time I'm using the 6L6 power tubes. In the cabinet section, I'm using very similar settings as with the clean tone, so the modern cabinet with the 57 and the 121 mic. 
The EQ is turned off as well as the post effects. So it's a very simple tone, but it sounds awesome. Now let's take a quick listen to those isolated guitars. Check it out. Alright, so that was the Bogren Digital MLC Sub-Zero 100 plugin. I think that this plugin sounds great and I really recommend checking it out. So for more information, do visit the Bogren Digital website. But yeah, I thought it sounded quite organic and very big and wide and it does have a unique tone. So again, I definitely think it's worth checking out. But also let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this plugin. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below as that really helps the channel out. I'd hugely appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.